Stingy. Let me answer that by saying uh, what it means to be generous. Then from that you understand the opposite is to be stingy. I want to answer it like that because our Sheikh is the most generous, is a servant of the most generous. His name is Abdul Karim. So what it means to be generous? One thing, I'm saying simple thing. We like to say simple things. To be generous is not meaning that when I have extra, whatever it is, if it is time or possession or knowledge, anything, when I have extra, then I'm going to give. That is not generous. Okay? Generous is not saying, I have this, half I'm going to give it to you, half is mine. That's still not generous. Generous also does not mean, okay, I give you everything except for this thing that is for me. As Hazrat Umar said to the Holy Prophet, he said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I love you more than anyone except my own self. And the Holy Prophet says, Ya Umar, you haven't reached the complete faith. And Hazrat Umar quickly said, I'm paraphrasing, he said, that I love you more than myself. Don't think that he just changed his mind just like that. That was a rehearsal, Sheikh Ali said, for us to understand. A man cannot just change his heart in a split second like that. We're talking about Hazrat Umar here. Hazrat Umar, who gave up his entire life for the Holy Prophet, gave his life. So, how can he really claim? that he loves himself more when he's put his life in front of the Prophet to be taken. Generosity, it is one of the uh, names, the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the one who is generous. <coughs> and there is a hadith -i sharif where the Holy Prophet was saying, Allah loves generosity and he loves the generous unbeliever more than the stingy believer and in these days Sheikh Andy saying, Sheikh Mawlana saying in these days so many people especially if they are not belonging to Islam <laughs> they will find safety through generosity only by being generous by giving a lot of charity and kindness they will find safety. So, in our way, we belong to the way of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq. And what is the way of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq? When he came to the presence of the Prophet, and he was wearing the leaves from the date trees tying around his waist. And he came, Prophet Wasallam was smiling and saying to him, Ya Abu Bakr, what happened? Today, Ya Rasulullah, I've given everything for the sake of Allah, for the sake of Islam. Not even the clothes that he was wearing. He says he's given everything away. And Prophet says, what about your children and your family? Understand now, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, his language. Hmm? You blink and you're not able to understand it.
you blink, you cannot understand. Because his words, it's like the words of the prophets. Because the Holy Prophet is saying, whatever Allah has put in my heart, I pour into the heart of Bakr Siddiq. Understand how he answered this question. The Prophet is saying, Ali said to us, Salam, what about your children and your family? Did you leave anything to them? What did he say? I left them Allah and his Prophet. Understand? So who is possessing what? What he possessed at that time. So, in today's world, especially in these times, in these countries, everyone is very stingy. Because they are not taught how to share, number one. They are not taught how to share when they are young. Everyone, you have my own thing. This is my seat, my plate, my food, my toys, my this, my that. Maybe there's only one or two kids in the family. So you get spoiled. Everyone is giving. And he's not taught to give to others. Only knowing how to take. How to take, how to take. Because it's whole society now. <laughs> it is based on desire. It's based on hawa. You look around, everything is based on your desire. You look in the magazine, every single word, every single page is based on desire. It awakens your desire. Even though you don't have that desire, you see something and say, yeah, I want it. You're not hungry. You watch something, you're showing burger or pizza, because Americans, they love pizza and burger, then they get hungry. They spend billions of dollars to put all the nice sounds and color and everything in squeeze into 30 seconds for you to awaken your desire. Now, once your <coughs> desire is awakened so much like that, how you think you can be generous? Can you? When you are already brainwashed to say, I want, I want, I want, I want, how then will you have space in your head or in your heart to say, I give? So, a stingy person is the poorest person because he's always in need. A generous person is the richest person because he's not in need. He doesn't need anything. And he's rich because he has things around him but he doesn't need it. You're poor because you're always in need. May Allah never test us with that, inshallah. One of the reasons we pull ourselves away from the mess of this age of Dajjal. Yeah. And live on top of the mountain to keep ourselves clean. To understand what is real and what is not real. What is fake and what is not fake. Inshallah. Still, we are not saying that we are completely shielded from it 100%. We're never saying that we are perfect, but we are doing, we are trying, and we are holding on tightly to our share. So, you don't know how to share. From young, you cannot be generous. You are only taught how to take, but never how to give. At that time, it is in your nature now to be stingy. Stingy doesn't just mean, oh, I'm not going to give something to someone. Stingy also means when I give to someone, I'm going to count it. Eh? I'm going to count that I give. I'm going to keep a score. A stingy is only learning how to take and not to give. And a stingy person, you'll find it very difficult to enter into a paradise. You can be praying 50 times a day. But some way, somehow, the shaitan is going to get to you because our Lord is not stingy. 
a believer cannot be stingy. And our prophet is generous. I said to Salam. Yeah. As much is enough. Fatiha.